G'day, it's Coit here, doing up a little video on easy collectible farming so that you can get your scripts for your script gear for your gatherers. I'm using a fishing job to do this and we're out in Old Gradania right now outside the stand that the collectible appraiser has and the script turn-in fellow sits just outside the market board area and we're going to go down to the level 50 to 60 fish and target in on a particularly easy one to get hold of, the Illuminati Perch. We've had a quick look there and can see the collectability for this fish starts at a 826 value. From then on in you'll be collecting scripts and getting really good XP for each one that you hand in. And this is a pretty easy farm. So we're going to head out to Idle Shire now and go to a location that I found to be particularly picturesque, nice and relaxing, and it pays out extremely well for the amount of time that you invest into it. Uh, it's a very good way to get hold of script gear for your retainers, for your main gathering jobs, and also um, not just the, uh, the wearables, but the actual uh, implements, your fishing rods, your uh, mining implements and your botany gear. So once you're out through the front entrance of Idle Shire, just head directly to the big mysterious bubble that sits on the horizon and we'll take a nosedive down below. I've just found that to be a really nice uh, place, very easy on the eye to do this, uh, this fishing. It's quite a quick exercise. Um, probably, if you were to spend 20 minutes to half an hour doing this, you'd probably gain a level on your character and get enough scripts for a couple pieces of gear. Um, so it's very quick and very easy. One of the best things about doing this particular farm, oh, I'll just show you what gear I've got there. So you can see I've collected all my level 65 script gear and that's all I'm wearing. I have bonded uh, fairly easy to get materia to that gear but there's nothing special about what this character's wearing. You don't need to uh, have invested a great deal of time in the game to be able to do this. The other thing that makes this an attractive proposition is the bait that's necessary to collect this particular fish. You don't need big stacks of uh, hard to get bait. You're using the old versatile lure and you get really good results with it so once again very cheap and easy to do the other attractive proposition with this is that a lot of the fish that you pull in are valuable in different ways some of them sell well on the market board and nearly all of them can be desynthesized to yield materia elegant silver and gold pieces um, generally just a good good little gold farm as well as a collectible farm here So when you're going to do this, if you are quite new to it, one thing you do have to do, which I haven't done, is turn on your collectible glove. Now you'll see an icon there. Um, it's a blue hand with a yellow to orange looking uh, cube sitting in the palm of the hand. And all you need to do is turn that on and then that makes um, the chance of collectibles begin to happen when you're pulling them up out of the ocean. So I'm just fooling around a little bit here, finding my legs, filling up my inventory with stuff that I'll have to uh, desynthesize before I can really start collectible farming in earnest. Uh, the important abilities to use here, of course, are your patience ability, and then of course your precise hook and your powerful hook abilities. Um, if you get the one X, exclamation mark above your head when you uh, get a bite uh, you'll be using the precise hook if you get two or more you'll be using the powerful hook um, there's good visual cues on the icons there 
Uh, I haven't followed any guides myself. I've just worked this out as it goes, and it's all quite self-evident once you uh, once you get the hang of thinking like Yoshi and the fellows do. So just clearing a little bit of room in inventory here. Got a nice little uh, bit of materia there, a quick arm four. And uh, yeah, I often get elegant silver and elegant gold out of this. In addition to getting all your uh, various crystals you need for crafting, um, which can save you a little bit of crystal farming too, so it takes another tedious job off your plate. Uh, that can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So I think it's at this point that I realise I don't have my collectible glove on. So we'll be turning that on in a second and then we might start to get some results. So you can see when I've used patience and you get a timer up the top, I find you get about three casts to each set of patients that you apply. There's the fellow we want, but we want the collectible version of that guy. So now we've turned the glove on. We've got patients running. And if you time it from here, you'll see that this is a pretty quick farm to get hold of a usable collectible. And I actually found that the run that's on this video um, is quite typical. This is uh, quite average. It wasn't extraordinary good luck and it wasn't extraordinary bad luck. And yeah, an absolutely beautiful spot to go fishing. Uh, it's, it's very relaxing. In between raids or hitting your MSQ or, or whatever it is that you enjoy doing in the game, this is a great way to, um, to de-stress a little bit in a productive sort of way, I found. In fact, I, I just enjoy fishing full stop, so that's just me. So when we checked the um, collectible appraiser earlier on, uh, we saw that the collectible becomes valuable with a value of 826, I think it was, onwards. So if you do pull one out the water with a value that's less than that, simply discard it. Um, or you can actually click the option for it not to be a collectible and take it as a fish, and then you can still desynthesize it and, and get the usual sort of... Uh, benefits from doing that, like I'm doing right now. Come on, baby. You can do it. Papa wants a collectible. Come on. Yeah, so as I said, quite good visual cues, two exclamation marks, use the powerful hook set. Oh, the sweet fish I keep often too, I don't uh, tend to desynthesize that because my culinarian finds it useful for recipes. The high quality versions go quite well on the market board as well. I think it's actually part of a job quest um, for the culinarian. So you're always going to get good sales on that, so that's handy. And there it is. And yes, we're above that collectible threshold. You can see the value in green there. We'll take it, baby. Right, little Misericoit is quite impressed with herself. Back to New Gradania we go. So you just head up to the stand here, have a chat to the appraiser, roll down the list to the 50 to 60 level range. There's your Illumini perch, click on it, it'll come up on the right, hit the trade button and win. Collectible farming is a very fast way to get XP and you do get those scripts which are extremely uh, useful 
all sorts of gear, all sorts of other items you can turn in for them. So for people out there who are just getting the hang of their collectibles, this might be of some help to you. And for everyone else, you can laugh at the uh, naive way I've presented this. That's just fine. All right, so poor old Ms. Recoit's going to uh, load her paladin job. And uh, you can see she wears terribly appropriate looking gear when she's going to tank. She's going to rock on out and keep doing some more Praetorium for the event that's on at the moment. Gotta love it. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good one. Quite <laughs> out.